Max is embarrassed. Now they know from admitting something. Max couldn't help feeling embarrassed when telling his- Wait, what? He got a sim pregnant? Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. What? Who did you- How did you- What did you do at school today? Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Hethwin and today we are checking out the new stuff pack that came out for The Sims Home Chef Hustle. I am really excited to check out this pack. We have not had a stuff pack since Paranormal came out almost three years ago and I am so excited. I haven't done any gameplay yet but I have made our sims and I've also got a house for them to live in. I decided that I really wanted to focus mostly on just the gameplay and I'm really excited to get into the gameplay with this and experience that all with you. Let's come over here in our game and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our sims that we are going to be playing with. And in fact, I think what I'll do is I'll go into Cass, I'll introduce you to The Sims, and then we will go take a look at their house, I'll tell you their backstory, and I will tell you all about them. Our Sims that we are playing with is a single mom and her two children. Now, our mom, Alexis, just recently got divorced from her husband, Aiden. Now, Aiden moved to San Myshuno. He was very materialistic, he was very focused on his job, his career, and he didn't give a whole lot of attention to Alexis and their children. And so they ended up having a big falling out. He had a little bit of an affair. It wasn't good. It wasn't pretty. They got divorced. Now, he moved to San Myshuno. They were originally living in Willow Creek. And Alexis and her two children have moved to Copperdale because that's where her parents actually live. And she also wanted to be closer to the schools and move into that place and Alexis's dream is to become a home chef and to be a market magnate. So there are some new aspirations that came with this. One of them is an appliance whiz. We're not going to check out that one in the let's play but the other one is a market magnate. This sim wants to operate the most profitable food stand. So her goals are to run and operate this food stand. She is a little bit clumsy, she's a foodie, and she is family oriented. So in addition to that, her children are really important to her. As far as her likes and dislikes, she likes the color brown. She likes funny sims, homebody sims, and optimistic sims, but she doesn't like egotistical, emotion decision makers, or hardworking sims. She likes talking about hobbies, and she likes baking and cooking. And this is Alexis. This is our sim. She is an adult, so we're not starting with a young adult. So she is actually an adult. She is a teenager. She has a child. She's a little bit older. And she's finally getting ready to get started on this career that she has dreamed of. Now, we have her in a lot of the outfits from the pack. So I will just show you real quickly what her outfits are. So this is one of her everyday outfits and then this is her other everyday outfit. So we used a couple of things from the pack. Her other outfits, her formal wear, her athletic sleepwear, party wear, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. Now I don't foresee us seeing her, like those aren't really the focus. The focus is obviously on the new stuff that came with the pack. So this is Alexis. This is her son, Max. He is the oldest. He is a teenager. He wants to be famous and he has a little bit of his dad's materialistic personality, but he is also kind of a goofball. So he wants to be famous, kind of like thinking about like more of like comedy. He's kind of silly. He's kind of goofy. That's Max. He likes optimistic sim sims, cerebral sims, deception, the color blue. He likes mixology and funny sims and hardworking sims, but he doesn't like emotional decision makers or homebody sims. And in fact, he has kind of a distant relationship with his mom. He has taken the divorce the hardest out of anybody, and so he's had a difficult time with it. He's closer to his dad, but he is living with his mom. Interestingly though, he is really close to his little sister. So this is Max. Now, I don't have him dressed in anything from the pack because it didn't make sense. It, it didn't really fit with him. This is one of the new hairstyles, though, that came with the pack that he has on. And then the youngest is little Charlotte. 
And Charlotte is a creative genius. She's a creative sim. She's really interested too in what her mom is doing. And so she's probably gonna be helping out her mom a lot more with the food stand and all of that and getting into that a lot more. She is close with her mom and her brother. So they both have close relationships. And her favorite color is yellow. She likes family motivated sims and homebody sims, but she doesn't like egotistical sims. She likes small talk, compliments, and gossip, but she doesn't like deception. And she likes horse riding, which is a little bit interesting. She hasn't ever had a horse, but they went on vacation once to Chestnut Ridge and she got to ride a horse and she loved it and she really wishes she had a horse. Now she has a few options for outfits. She has this, this is from Cottage Living, not a new one. She has this one for when she's helping her mom out in the kitchen. And then this one that's kind of more of like an everyday outfit. So this is the family. These are the Lancasters. So we've got Alexis and her ch children, Max and Charlotte. As I mentioned, they did move to Copperdale and that's because Alexis's parents live right here, the Lawtons. So Matilda and Russell Lawton live here in Copperdale. She wanted to be close to them, thinking that they would be able to help her out with the kids, maybe help her out with her business. It's hard to say, but they do live here in Copperdale. Now let's get in and let's take a look at their house. So this is their home here in Copperdale. It's a two bedroom house. And really the feature that Alexis was really looking for was that kitchen. So if we go inside and we take a look, we will start off with the kids' rooms. We've got Charlotte's room over here, and then this is Max's room, and then they have a bathroom that they share. We've got kind of a small living room. They're still kind of sparsely decorated because Alexis only had so much money to begin with, and she really put a lot of that into having everything that she needed for her business. This is her room, and then she has an ensuite bathroom and then the real highlight of all of this is the kitchen so this is the kitchen basically everything in here came with the home chef hustle stuff pack there's a whole new kitchen set there's small appliances there's a bunch of stuff that came with the pack and it's all associated with the kitchen there really isn't anything outside of that the wallpaper is from the pack as well i didn't like the flooring as much so this flooring that i'm using is actually from jungle adventure i didn't limit this build to just base game and home chef kitchen i kind of used everything that i had i can put it up on the gallery if you are interested if you are interested in seeing this house on the gallery post in the comments below and i will put it up there it's also not a starter home i just wanted to build with the kitchen and have everything that alexis was going to need to really get started with this business as I mentioned, she did just recently get divorced, so she is feeling really sad from that. And she is a market magnate. So what she wants to do, she wants to run a food sale from a residential lot and then sell five excellent pizzas or waffles during a food sale. Now, we do have the Anywhere, Any Fair food stand. However, there's not like a whole lot of room on this lot to really put it. So we might have to run that from her parents' house because we don't have a whole lot of room here. Let's go ahead and have Alexis come in and prep some ingredients. Okay, we can make batter. And since we don't have any of these fresh ingredients, we are just going to have to pay for it. Oh, we don't have a lot of money either, so let's pay attention to that. So it looks like we can just prep batter. Okay, so you don't actually have to make the batter to use the items. Probably if you have the simple living lot trait turned on, you would have to make the batter first, but you don't have to. It's just gonna improve the quality. So you need batter to make the waffles, and then you need dough to make the pizzas. Okay, oh, this is fun. Why don't we, since Alexis is really sad from her divorce, probably not the best way to get started with this. Let's start by prepping ingredients. Let's get her prepping some batter. So she's over here mixing up the batter. Okay, it says it's 15 minutes until the batter is ready. Okay. Now Charlotte, oh sure, she can like video games. All right, right off the bat. Now Charlotte wants to play in a tree house and reach level three of the creativity skill. She does have a little table in here. So maybe we'll have her come in and make some summer crafts. Maybe she can use that to decorate her room a little bit. And Alexis is crying 
under the blankets in Max's bed. All right. Max wants to start off by becoming a celebrity. You know what? Actually, I think what we'll do, let's have him come and find a part-time job from school. I'm thinking let's have him do like some streaming and he can get started on that and that maybe that will help him kind of get started with his fame career. Like I said, he has a difficult relationship with his mom, so things are going to be a little bit tough between them. Yeah, let's get him going as a video game streamer. And we'll have him stream in the evening. I doubt he's a teenage boy. I don't think he's going to want to wake up early and stream. Let's pick this avatar for him. Okay, so he's entered the video game streamer career. All right, let's have uh, Alexis come and collect the prepped ingredients. He will come and he can do a stream. So he's going to live stream Crip Creeper. And Alexis is in here. She's picking up her batter. <gasps> Look at that. There is the ingredient. It's now in her inventory. Oh, she got five of them. Okay, so that's a good thing. Let's put those in the refrigerator. And then let's start, let's make some waffles. Let's make some plain waffles to begin with. We're not going to do anything too crazy to begin with. We're just going to make some plain waffles in the waffle maker. She's so sad, but she's feeling happy from making a friend and from homie. Oh, we did put lot traits on here. So we did make this a chef's kitchen as well as homey so that the cooking and baking skills and such will go up faster. Okay, so if we do use batter to make br the brownies, and I'm guessing we also probably use it to make the cupcakes. Let's take a look. Yeah, so most of this sweet stuff uses the batter to make it. I kind of also want to make cupcakes. Okay, let's come collect the waffles. We've just made basic waffles. Look at the waffles. Let's put, let's take a closer look at these. Oh my goodness. Look at those. Oh, they look so good and they're excellent quality. Okay. We can put these in our inventory. So let's do that. And let's make a little bit more batter. And then that way we can take this stuff with us and we're going to head over to our parents' house and try to use this food stand and see what all that is going to look like. Alexis is struggling a little bit with money. She only has 35 simoleons, so it's a little it's a little rough for her to get started. Oh my goodness, this cookbook actually works. If you cook on the cookbook, it gives you all of the different options of how you can cook. So you can cook, you can can, you can bake, you can do a grand meal. That's so cool. All right, let's come and collect our prepped ingredients. So it's good to know that you get five of your prepped ingredients when you use this. So it's not like you only get one batter for 45 simoleons. So that's a good thing. All right, Aiden has done his live stream. So let's go ahead and head over to Alexis' parents' house. And we're going to set up our food stall there and try and sell some stuff from their lot. We're going to leave Max home. We're going to take Charlotte with us because she'll want to see her grandparents anyway so we'll come and we're gonna knock on the door okay let's get out our stand here all right we've gotten out our stand and then we're gonna put our waffle maker and our pizza oven on here and then we can let's see open this put in our waffles and we've got some batter so why don't we come real quickly and let's make a pizza let's do a pizza marinara and we can do waffles and pizza. It's an interesting combination of things, but we can do that. Oh, and the kids can do it too. So Charlotte, for example, she could take the stand. Her mom could make like a bunch of baked goods. She could take it and earn some money with like bake sales and things like that. But we could also get, let's get some berry waffles going at the same time. It's kind of cool. You can actually like kind of like cue this stuff and get them both going so you're prepping both at the same time which is kind of cool okay our pizza is done let's collect our pizza oh look at that it actually doesn't look too bad good job alexis oh i love the little box it comes in that's so cute and then we can collect our waffles okay now if we open this up let's put our pizza and our waffles here and let's start let's start a food sale Okay, we have stocked it. And while we're waiting for that to happen, can we do some cooking? Oh, we don't have enough money to make a pizza. <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh, we could make some more plain waffles, though. All right, look at our food. Stand. Actually, our food doesn't look that bad. We have excellent quality pizza. We've got normal berry waffles. We've got excellent plain waffles. So this isn't too bad. Is anyone going to come, though? And she's trying. She's like, come to my food stand. Oh, look, it's Mae Prescott, the principal. She has arrived, and so has Aniello Morind. And apparently, apparently Charlotte is telling us uh, that she's watched somebody be bullied. All right, we're not going to worry about that right now. Okay, we can mark up our- let's mark up our prices. Like, let's do it 300%. It's quite a markup, I know, but we're gonna do it. Okay, let's collect our waffles. Okay, and then we can put those on the table. Wait, where did I just put those? Where did my waffles go? Okay, let's try and do a sales pitch and see if we can get somebody to buy something. Um, let's convince him to buy some berry waffles. You know you want these waffles? Look at how delicious they look. I don't think anybody's bought anything yet. Come on, buy some stuff. Look, buy some pizza. Let's give a sales pitch to Marcel Price. See if that works. Like, look at this delicious pizza marinara that I have made. It is super fresh. It's super delicious. You want to buy all of these things. I've got lots of good waffles here. Charlotte's over here like, come on, buy this stuff. It's super good. Maybe our, maybe we shouldn't have marked it up so high. What if we just mark it up 100%? Let's do that. See if that is more effective. Because so far, nobody is buying anything. I mean, to be fair, we're still pretty sad because our marriage ended. But she's trying. Alexis is trying so hard to sell this stuff. She's really pushing it. It's not getting much good. Oh, Molly Prescott's here. She's a teenager. Let's give Molly a sales pitch. Be like, you know, teenagers love pizza. So you should try and try my pizza. It's so good. It's buying anything. Why isn't anybody buying anything? It's now dark. Our food sale has yielded nothing. Oh, somebody bought something. May Prescott bought a serving of waffles. What did you buy? Berry waffles. Okay, we've made six simoleons. Okay, so it does look like they pick, they buy individual servings, not like the whole thing. So that's good. And May has bought some berry waffles. We have made six simoleons. That's it. <laughs> We're getting a lot of people coming. Oh, oh, David Lowe just bought something. What did he buy? What did you buy? He also bought berry waffles. Okay. Come on, Noah, buy some pizza. You know you want some pizza. Look at how delicious this pizza looks. Oh, nice. Dane Avery here just bought some of our pizza. Very good. Let's go Let's go talk to him. Since he just bought our pizza, let's do a friendly introduction. Where are you going? I love how everybody is just like out here sitting on the back porch of Alexis's parents' house. Okay, so food sale complete. We made 20 simoleons. We sold two berry waffles and one pizza marinara. Okay, so all in all, maybe not the best start to our food making endeavor, um, but that's okay. It was our first time. Okay, so let's put this in our inventory. I think it's time for us to go home with Charlotte. Maybe our next attempt will be better. So Alexis did sell one excellent pizza or waffles during her food sale. So she did okay with that. We only made 20 simoleons, so that's not great, but it's a start. We're gonna be relying on Max's income from being a video game streamer. It's gonna be the only way we're gonna get through this. Kids have taken off to school. Alexis is awake and she is thinking she's gonna have some leftovers. She's probably gonna eat some of the waffles that she made. And then I think we're going to have her make some more waffles. Maybe we'll have her make her another bit of berry waffles. And then we're going to have her go off somewhere and set up her food stall. And we're going to try again to have a street food sale and see if this one is a little bit more successful. Because right now, one, she needs to get her cooking skill up so she can make dough. So that pizza doesn't cost as much money for her to make. All right, Alexis has now reached cooking level two. So that means we should be able to prep dough. We can, except we don't have enough money to do it. We can also do prepped veggies. And then let's see, we might be able to make a new kind of pizza. Yes, we'll also be able to make pizza margarita and pepperoni pizza. 
And then when we're done with the waffle maker, we'll see if there's any new waffles that we can. Oh, we could also, what if we make some cupcakes? Okay, let's make some classic vanilla cupcakes. Max tried to skip out on a class today to comfort a crying friend. What should we tell him? Don't, well, I guess we only had one at, one option there. I'm not sure Alexis would have been that unsympathetic. Okay, we'll collect our waffles. We're going to use our batter and make some cupcakes. We'll try and bring some cupcakes with us as well. So we'll bake cupcakes. We will do some waffles. We'll do some pizza. And we will see if this goes any better. Hopefully it does. All right, so we've got some more berry waffles. All right, so let's head out. And we are. she lives in, t in like the town area of Copperdale. So maybe we'll go over by Thrifty and have a sale over there and see if we have any more success at Thrifty at selling there. Fingers crossed this goes a little bit better. So far, we're not off to a very good start. Oh my gosh, we forgot to get the stuff. We forgot to get the other stuff out of the refrigerator. Okay, it's fine. It's totally fine. All right, let's, and we didn't even bring batter with us. All right, it's totally fine. We're just gonna go and start with our cupcakes and our, our waffle. Oh, this is so sad. Like, all right, come on, people. I've got some great cupcakes and some great waffles here for you. You know you want them. Okay, here it, okay, Dominic Friars is here. Let's give him a sales pitch, see if he is willing to buy anything. We brought no prepped ingredients. We really are not prepared for this. We're just here with our cupcakes and our waffles and nothing else. Oh, look, here's our mom. Maybe our mom will buy something from us. Like, come on, mom. Mom, if you buy something, this is gonna help me out a lot. Oh, she did too. She bought a cupcake. Yay, mom bought a cupcake from us. Hooray. What a good mom Matilda is. She's here, she is doing her best to support Alexis in her entrepreneurial endeavors. She's like, I'm gonna call your dad and have him come over and try some of these cupcakes because they're so good. You did such a great job, honey. I'm so proud of you. And Alexis is kind of like, mom, can you like move on so that other people can come and buy cupcakes and waffles from me? It would help a lot. Thanks. Thanks, mom. But Matilda's not budging. Oh, Molly just bought a cupcake as well. Okay, so we've sold a cupcake. This isn't really helping us with- Oh, who just bought waffles? Yay, Noah Kane just bought waffles. Okay, we have to sell three more excellent waffles or pizza, which we don't have pizza with us. Kind of a problem. Okay, let's talk to Lauren. Let's give Lauren a sales pitch. See if she is willing to buy something. This is being much more successful than having done it at our parents' house. Okay, and Ash is here. Maybe they're going to want to buy something. Rita, come on, Rita. Oh, somebody else just bought something. Our mom now just bought waffles. Yay, mom. Alexis's mom has bought waffles and a cupcake from her. Molly is back. Apparently, it was so good. The cupcake was so good. Molly has come back for more. Ash just bought a cupcake as well. Let's see if we can convince Ava to buy a berry waffles. Come and you, you want to try these waffles. Do you see how fresh the berries are? They're so good. You definitely want to buy them. Oh, she's like, I. she's not so sure she wants to buy them. Why are we sad? Oh, and here's our dad. So Russell has shown up. Matilda called him and was like, you need to get down here and help support our daughter. She has been making these amazing things. So you really need to get down here and help her out and buy something. Let's see if we can convince him to buy some waffles. We need to sell two more waffles to complete this first part of Alexis's aspiration. Okay, somebody else just bought a cupcake. Noah just bought... Noah? Did Noah buy a cupcake? Noah bought a cupcake. Okay. Our dad is back on... Maybe he's calling his friends and telling them. Ooh, Ash just bought some waffles. Okay, great. We just need to sell one more waffle. Oh, Jeanette has bought an, a cupcake. We only have three cupcakes left. We've got five waffles left. This has been much more successful than when we did it at our parents' house, so we're already doing a lot better. Her mom bought another cupcake, and we completed the milestone! 
We've now sold all of our waffles that we needed. Okay, what do we have to do next? We have to run food sales from two different lots, and then we have to convince customers to buy something five times during a food sale. The kids are back home from school. Our food sale is almost over. Our food sale is almost over. It has been a lot more successful. Oh my goodness, people are buying more things. And Alexis is feeling playful now from joking with her dad. He is here and is supporting her. We have a ghost who's buying waffles. I mean, our waffles are so good. They come back from the dead to buy them. Don't you want to eat these waffles that are so good? It brings ghosts out of the grave. I don't know what kind of sales pitch you're doing, Alexis, but I'm not sure um, clucking like a chicken is the best way to go about it. We are completely out of cupcakes now. We have sold out of cupcakes. And we're running out of waffles as well. Okay, we only have one waffle left. And our food sale is complete. This time, we earned 106 simoleons. We sold 8 cupcakes and 7 berry waffles. Alright, so we did a lot better that time than before. But even still, Alexis is still really struggling with her divorce. She's feeling really sad. Even though her business is starting to go well, she's still feeling really down. I mean, which is understandable. She's still kind of coping with that and dealing with that grief. And we know that Charlotte wants to have a treehouse. So that is one of the things and one of the goals that Alexis is working towards is the ability to get a tree house for Charlotte because it's something that she's really excited about and really interested in. I think let's see about prepping some dough and maybe we can use that for some pizza. So let's have Alexis start prepping the dough. We have to remember the next time we have a sale to actually take the stuff out of the fridge for this. <laughs> Oh, our mom is here. Charlotte, why don't you come and let grandma in? Charlotte is going to talk to her grandma a little bit. They have a really good relationship with each other. And Charlotte was really happy that they moved close to grandma and grandpa. She's telling her all about school. And Matilda was a teacher in Copperdale. And that's why they live here. And so she knows some of the teachers that Charlotte and Max are having. So they're having this opportunity to talk. She's telling her all about her school day. And Matilda is just, she really is happy to listen and hear about everything that Charlotte is learning. All right, Alexis's dough is ready. She was watching some of the cooking network and actually got her cooking skill to level three. So she should be able to make some new stuff now. All right, so we've now got five dough. Let's see what we can make now with the pizza oven. Okay, so in addition to our pizza marinara and cheese pizza, she can now make pizza margarita pepperoni pizza, and then herb focaccia and pineapple pizza. Ugh. All right, why don't we have her make some pepperoni pizza? Everybody likes pepperoni pizza. And then do we have new waffle recipes? Okay, she can now make chicken and waffles as well as pumpkin spice waffles. Max is in here playing some video games. He's gonna have to probably do his live stream stuff pretty soon. Yeah, at 9 p.m. he has to do his live stream. He is not really paying much attention to his schoolwork. He's just kind of doing his own thing. He kind of just shuts himself in his room when he gets home from school. And it's, it's kind of too bad that things are so rough between him and Alexis. So she, Alexis is helping Charlotte with her homework while the pizza is cooking. And in fact, maybe instead of trying to sell this pizza, maybe they'll eat it for dinner. Let's go ahead and serve that as a meal. Alexis is kind of hungry. Charlotte is kind of hungry. And plus, Matilda is here. So maybe we'll actually eat the pizza for dinner tonight. And then Alexis, she can sell the leftovers. That sounds so terrible, doesn't it? She's going to sell the leftovers from their dinner. But, I mean, it's The Sims. They don't seem to care. All right, Charlotte has finished her homework. So let's have some pizza for dinner. Ooh, look at that pepperoni pizza. No, Charlotte, don't eat waffles. Mom's making pizza. Okay, there is pizza. Okay, Max has his streaming that he is going to be doing pretty soon. So he needs to update his online bio with a business headshot. So he has to take a photo with the camera on his phone and then click on it in his inventory. Okay. 
Wait, why is his dad calling and inviting him to a crazy party? Actually, you know what? Let's go. Aiden is going to kind of sneak out while they're having dinner, and he's going to go to this party with his dad, which is kind of weird that his dad is inviting him to the party, but Aiden was never... He was kind of childish and immature, and it kind of makes sense that he would call up Max for this party. So he's going to say hi to his dad. They have a really good relationship with each other. They're really close. And Aiden is maybe not the best influence since he's bringing his son to a party on a Tuesday night. And especially because he's supposed to be doing stuff for his live streaming, but he has come to this party with his dad. Maybe, though, he will be able to... Maybe he could take a selfie here. So it's a school night, and... uh. Max is at a party with Aiden, not doing his homework, not doing what he's supposed to be doing. He is partying. And the principal is here. The principal showed up at this party. Oh my gosh. All right, let's do our selfie. He needs to do this for his bio, for his live streaming, so we can have him take a selfie. Okay, this one looks to be like the best one. So let's use this for a business headshot. And he got paid 10 simoleons for it. There's even a bar here. At least he's not trying to drink something from the bar. He's just like over here dancing with his dad at this dance party. Oh my gosh. Oh no, why is he embarrassed? Max is embarrassed. Now they know from admitting something. Max couldn't help feeling embarrassed when telling his... Wait, what? He got a sim pregnant? Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. What? Who did you- How did you- What did you do at school today? Who did you get pregnant? You don't know anybody. How did this- I'm so confused. Apparently, Max told Aiden that he got someone pregnant. I don't know what that means, but he's got a warmed heart from a supportive family dynamic. So, Aiden is being really supportive of him in this, but I don't know who Max has gotten pregnant. He doesn't know anyone. He knows- I don't- okay, I think we need to end the dance party and go home. It's like midnight. Max has come back home after revealing to his dad that he got someone pregnant. We don't know who, we don't know any of the details, but I kind of think with this revelation, maybe we need to end this episode here. I'm kind- my mind is blown. I don't know what just happened. That's kind of a detour from the Home Chef Hustle, but apparently Max has gotten someone pregnant. Sims. We have had success with using the small appliances and gameplay in the new pack. Alexis is slowly going through the paces of running her food stall and getting her business up and running. And so hopefully as time goes on and she gets better at making things, she will be even more successful. I am excited to keep playing with this pack and keep going. I have no idea what's going to happen with this revelation that Max has gotten someone pregnant. We'll find out. Not where I thought this Let's Play was going to go, but, you know, The Sims had other ideas. Let me know in the comments below what you think about that development, and also if you would like me to upload this house to the gallery if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!